Showtime with Coop is brought to you by Price Picks and the Game Time app. SBC start <laughs> bench, <laughs> but thank we you. We played it. Go Lakers! That's right, baby. <laughs> Go Lakers! I okay, to be competitive. So for the fans, again, you're listening to Showtime with Coop, insightful BS. We have a segment we call SBC start bench or cut i'm gonna give nick three three people and he has to tell me what he's gonna do with that with those those players okay i hope you don't stump me again okay all right (laughs) first one kyrie damian lillard and uh dantich wow that's like the the chief underachieved no i'm just kidding mediocrity uh no um well i'm gonna i'm gonna oh that's a tough one so Kyrie, luca and who is the third damian lillard yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna start yeah i'm gonna start luca and why man that this is a tough one maybe i'm gonna why? Because he's probably the most versatile of all of them, but he doesn't play defense, so it's so hard. <laughs> what? He, he is versatile. I, I don't like, I'll be honest with you. I don't care for Damian. I don't, I think Damian Lillard's untested and, you know, he destroyed Milwaukee. I mean, I, I gotta, I gotta start Luca, bench Kyrie and cut game time. <laughs> I'm gonna get killed for that, but I'm gonna do it because Damian Lillard, I mean, he left Portland, went to Milwaukee, and they got worse. How does that happen? Well, I, mean, uh, I remember they fired their coach too. So, well, and they they insist that was Damon and Giannis that insisted that when Drew was there, they didn't have a problem with their coach, and they were winning when they fired their coach, weren't they? I mean, it was ridiculous. So, who are you going with again, Nick? <laughs> All right, court, I, I'm gonna do. Player. I'm gonna start Luca, uh, bench Kyrie, and I'm dr- I dread Kyrie, bench Kyrie, and cut Dame. Okay, I'm gonna get killed for that. What what would you do there? I'm gonna go start Dame, start Dame, bench Luca, and cut, and cut Kyrie. Kyrie because I think Kyrie and Dame are the same kind of player. Both of them That's can get was... big numbers a little bit, uh, but I li- I'm about speed and, and I know. you know athleticism and creativity. And Luca gives you that triple double almost any night, but he's too slow for me. I'm not. I mean, I. I if he wasn't a scorer, I would cut him. But he could score. You got to give the guy credit. He could score. But he's late. To me, he's lazy. Doesn't hustle back on Luka. defense. Luca, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but so he he's got a cut. Damn good score. No, you cut Kyrie. I'm cutting Kyrie. And that would hurt too. Because Kyrie can yeah, play. Yeah, Kyrie. He can really play, like man. Him. I mean, he can okay. play against everybody but the Celtics. Go ahead, Coop. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Number two Tatum, Worthy, Scotty Pippen. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to start Tatum, bench, worthy, and cut Scotty. Are you serious? Yep. 100%. Why? I'm not even hesitating. Because <laughs> I because uh, Tatum is dynamic. He defends. Now, listen, he, Nick, listen. When you think about these, when, when I give I'm you, taking the Celtics. Uh, don't think about. Uh, them being older. Think about them being in their prime. I am. I am. I got you. I got you. So, uh, uh, yeah, Tatum is is the most all around player of that group. Who did I have there? Tatum of Pippen. So Tatum is the most all around p- player of that group. He defends. He's. It's obvious that he's starting. James Worthy is poetry and motion. Crazy, man. man, you you're you're crazy. James Worthy could defend too. James yeah, Worthy, but if James Worthy that's can't the, run. He probably James wasn't Worthy a better can, ball handler. That's it. He can't set up the offense. Well, go ahead, Nick. I'm going. He I'm can't sorry. set up. I like that you call bullshit, but he. I love Worthy, but he he doesn't set up the offense. I mean, Worthy is a, a post mid range player, really good at it, and he runs the fast break really well. But I mean, he's he's not really a distance shooter ever, and you know. I just think, and and I'm and I'm cutting Scotty because Scotty's a bad teammate, and uh, I hope he doesn't see this. A bad teammate, and yeah, he's a great defender, but he he's mediocre compared to the other two on offense. Okay. Well, hey, uh, what about you? 
I'm, I'm starting. I'm. You're starting. I'm starting Scotty Pippen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a and defensive I'm guy. I'm benching then. worthy, and I'm cutting Tatum. And oh my for god! That, <laughs> Who's going to score? I'm hating on the Celtics. Next yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Last one of SBC. <laughs> but Tatum's funny. a hell of a player. I got to give him hell that. Of a that the, you know what? That's a tough three there. That it the really is. They are yeah. really good. All of them are good players. For Scott, Scotty is kind of easy for me, and it's it's not even fair. He just got on my nerves as a kid because he was so whiny. You know, and uh, I just, I always, I, you're going to kill me because of the defense, but I always found him to be slightly overrated. Who? Oh. Pippen. Uh, a little bit. And, a little know, bit. And I, I mean, and, like, he couldn't defend Larry. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Like, Larry used to put him in the torture chamber. <laughs> and you used to defend Larry. I love Tatum. I love Tatum, but he got on the wrong jersey for me. That's no, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> all right. What's the last one? All right, last one. Norm Nixon, mm -hmm. Maurice Cheeks, mm -hmm. and World Be Free. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I mean, how am I going to go with two two point guards? Though I mean, because well, Norm we talk about play. Three, you put your players out there. Start, bench, and cut. Who you? Start? I mean, Norman and and and. You know, there is nothing better during the summer than experiencing a sunny afternoon at the ballpark or maybe a nice summer evening, catching a ball game live, in person, not streaming, not on your phone, not on the radio, not on the TV. You know, I remember driving down from Maine every summer. It was a big deal. We get tickets to see the Red Sox at Fenway Park. And I just remember seeing the green grass as you'd walk up through the tunnel. It was like heaven. And I want you to have the same feeling. So go download the Game Time app and go see a game. Game time is an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, so it's really easy to use. You can get your tickets faster and easier. Plus, as you get closer to the first pitch, the prices on game time actually go down. They have killer last minute deals. They have the lowest price guarantee and you can check out the view from your seats. Now it's really easy. You, you know, you just go to your phone, you download the game time app, you scan it. And you can see there are great seats to the Sox and the Yankees, or if you want that down home minor league feeling, you can go see the Woo Sox or your favorite minor league club that's close to you. You know, I, I go to Worcester and Polo Park. It is a great place to take the family to see a game. Very economical, too. Plus, Game Time also has great deals on the New England Revolution and Patriot preseason games. You can get last minute deals and save up to 60% off on sports, concerts, comedy, and theater. You can save even more when you choose the section and you let Game Time choose the seats. You always get the lowest price guarantee or Game Time will credit 110% of the difference. So take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app today, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices, guaranteed. And uh, you got to go with with cheeks. Wow, this is a tough one. I'm gonna cut Norm. I'm gonna have to start cheeks and come off the bench with World Be Free. I mean, this isn't even easy. They're not even close to the same position. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing there? So who are you doing? You you starting? I'm gonna start cheeks, cut uh -huh. norm, and and come off the bench with the big with world be free. Okay, I'm gonna uh, start norm. You're such a homer, man. I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> we hey, gotta get norm back uh, on. Of here. those three players, Norm Nixon and Maurice Better Chiefs than... were probably the fastest with the basketball. Yeah, the, thing, the difference with them is Norm had a better consistent mid range shot. Maurice yes, could yeah, hit yeah, a yeah. shot, yeah, but Norm yeah. could come off that dribble with his. So I got to go with that. Maurice hit him. big shots. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to bench world be free because anybody that thinks he's the world of basketball <laughs> and nobody <laughs> is he still <laughs> living? Hey. Is this still alive? Guy could score, man. He I know. Score. He... he had the biggest size I've ever seen on a basketball player. You ever? Yeah. I yes. Mean, but could get up in the air in his prime, man. Beautiful jump shot. It was a is little he, awkward, is he alive? He down. Is he uh, alive? Is he yeah, still living? Bro, he is still, uh, you got to get him on, bro. I hope he's kicking. And then uh, Maurice Cheeks, I, I cut him, but still a good player, nice guy. 
uh, you know, but yeah, of those two, I'm looking for people. World be free gonna come off the bench and give me 25, maybe 40 on oh, yeah. any given night, you know. And uh, Norm, and like I said, Norman Cheeks are pretty much the same player. Yeah, uh, but the, that is it of our that's it B C segment. Now Man. moving on, fans are listening to Showtime with Coop. I'm I'm on with hater 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 a Nick of the Los Angeles Lakers. And loves the Celtics to where I believe that uh, when he poops, it's green. It doesn't matter. What <laughs> and <doing>. and sometimes <laughs> it is. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right, Coop. But you're listening. Now? And now our next segment. Well, that Coop, that leads us right into Coop's comps. We're going to do Coop's comparables. You know, I'm going to name three, four, five players today. And you're going to back them up with somebody you'd put against them. Should we do it as comparables, or who would you choose to def- – no, because you're, if you're going to choose who to defend, you're going to say you. We'll compare that Comparables. Person. All right. All right. And I I mean, I I dug deep. I got some help from uh, from some of my guys here in the office, and uh, we're going to start with um, – well, you, you brought them up. We're going to start with Anthony Edwards. And don't say Jordan. <laughs> Why not? That's what he's this too okay. is becoming cliche. Anthony I mean, Edwards, I, I would compare him – I would compare him to to uh, Kobe. Kobe, I would too. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, that's basically uh, Jordan. Real smooth, a <laughs> shot creator, tenacity. Uh, got a little funk with him. Uh, yeah, you know it's funny though. He doesn't have the personality of either. He doesn't seem quite as intense as either. Either, of but I guys. think it's coming out. I, I think uh, he's getting older. Yeah, he's year. maturing. Yeah, Harden, James Harden, not one of my favorite players. James Harden. Yeah. It's a tough um, one. Not Earl Monroe. Well, who's the lefty that played with the Knicks? Um, not Clyde Walt Frazier. No, Earl not Frazier. Monroe, um, uh, Dick Barnett. Dick Barnett. Okay, Dick Barnett that's, works. That's who I kind of compare. That's I think interesting. A little bit more athletic, but still, they still got that tricky game. You know, Herky jerky. Dick Barnett. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, I like Dick I'm Barnett. I'm trying to put a left handed person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, How about Kawhi? Ooh, Kawhi. That'd be a healthy Kawhi, obviously. Kawhi Leonard. Um, On a smaller scale, Alvin Robertson. On a small scale, but if I wanted, if you want me to go big and get kind of like that, I'd almost go like Mike Mitchell. Mike Mitchell, Mike the late Mitchell. Mike Mitchell. Wow, Mitchell yeah. could score down low, big like him, but still athletic, could put the ball on the floor. You know, him, Gervin, and and uh Alvin the Robertson. Crane, uh they cause a lot of problems there. But Kawhi is a different individual, but Mike could score like him. Both of them. Mike six, Mitchell, five, six, I like six. that one. I like yeah. that comparison. Yeah. 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 How about uh Jimmy Butler? Jimmy Butler? Dale Ellis. I think Dale league. Ellis is a shooter. Shooter, yep. Um, a clutch. She was clutch, Dale. Dale was clutch. Yeah, and get down there low. And is a, was a good rebounder. And Dale was a was a pretty good uh, a defender. Yep. You know? How about Sometimes Banchero? Sacrifice, huh? Banchero. Paulo Banchero. Banchero. Hmm. I'll skip that one because I don't even. That was one my one of my guys. No, gave. no, I no. Can't even give me um, a, you're going to laugh at me when I say this, but you'll understand it. And I just saw him the other day. Paolo Benchero reminds me a little bit, just a little, <clears throat> of Detlef Shrimp. Detlef what a was name both. from the past. Yeah, yeah Detlef, Detlef was, good. was a good-ass score. This Ooh. fucking guy could score. Detlef was, what, 6'8", six, 6'9"? Six, yep. One of the best follow-throughs. Uh, wasn't as athletic, but yep. still could make his way around the court. Oh, I like that. Um, yeah, that, I that's like that. Up, I say those two. You have any problem guarding any of those guys that we just mentioned? They're all I kind think of. Why would give me problems a little bit? Because he's why? physically strong. Bigger. I mean, he could hold his own, but again, yeah, I would be able to affect his shot. Uh, I was no. able to get around a lot of that. You're... But I mean, I, I I could, you know, if you're asking me if I could stop those guys, no. Everybody can score, but I would make them take tough shots. And and before we get into next season, our store, and I've been sourcing this, 
And uh, of course, you and I will will venture this together business wise. But our store, my merch store, is currently looking for poop socks. Michael Cooper some. socks. I have some. Do you I found some in the bottom of my drawer that I'm going to send you, Nick? Seriously, send me a pair, Coop, because I'm going to use them and we're going to sell them because it's now it's getting popular to to wear your socks like you used to again. Trends we're gonna go, Nick. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they do, and they coming back. I keep trying. Well, to no, as long as those hot shorts don't come back, those short shorts. We don't Are need you that crazy, shit. man? You guys saw a lot of leg. Hey, the girls like that. The girls the loved girls it. Like that. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I'm not going to give crude. But anyway, Coop, this was fun. Um, next time we come back, we're going to have some guests. Oh yeah, got some great guests too. Uh, yeah, got some good guests. He's not going to give us anything, folks. He's no, not going I'm to not. tell us who's. But I got some. On. I got some good guests lined up because I'm. I'm tired of doing this with you because all we do is Lakers Celtics. I want to hear some other people talk. Yeah, and I want to shut my mouth and I need to hear some stories, man. That's what gets me going, and I can make a million segments out of it. And the fans <laughs> love those mini segments. And we got to get your Instagram going with these guys too. So we'll put some on there this week too. But uh, Coop, this is fun. And there you have it. Another episode. It, what do we call that? In the can or in the box or in the trash can? Wherever it is, we got whatever we got it is. In, in the there. bucket. In the bucket. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for Coop. listening. Come back for more. See you later, Nick. Coop. Later, Coop. NBA History Channel is brought to you by Prize Picks and the Game Time app.